whether you have a garden or a, a churchyard near you or school grounds, there are ways you can transform that into a place that is rich in uh, pollinators. The right, sowing the right plants is all that's needed. One of the big horrors of recent years has been a whole group of pesticides called neonicotinoids. This is a, a simple derivative from nicotine. So nicotine, by the way, kills only 5 million people a year. So nicotine is only one third as dangerous as sugar. And you should think about that next time you're enjoying another uh, can of fizzy drink. And it's something to realize that children ought to think very carefully about the quantity of sugar they get. It's like encouraging your child to, to smoke, essentially. Um, sugar is something that we need to be alert to as a, a bad form of sweetness and honey as the best form of sweetness. So I think promoting the idea of beekeeping, bees, the importance of pollinators, all of this not only looks after the things that I love most, which is the plants and flowers around us, but it's also important for our own individual health. So I think the uh, Ashford Beekeeping Association needs to be much praised for the work it will do, the education. I often say to my um, uh, sort of governors of the gardens, you know, the, if our garden has six or seven small children who leave a year who say, I want to become a plant scientist, I want to become a botanist or a horticulturalist, we're doing an excellent job. But a very simple question to ask ourselves in this room is who is going to feed our great-grandchildren? Will it be bankers? Will it be politicians? Will it be lawyers? No, it will be plant scientists and horticulturalists. So you should always encourage your children that these are the professions of the future upon which uh, humanity depends. So a show like this, on the, in, in the essence, is only looking at one species of creature, a bee, has implications on everything. And it's a very true fact in our life, our world today, that if you pull on a little string in nature, the entire world moves. Everything is connected. So much praise to an organization like this for bringing so many of you together in this room. And go home and think honey, honey thoughts about how we need to promote this as a you know, an excellent way to the future, not only of, of our local community, but to Ireland and the whole world. Thank you. It will smell of malt. It smells just like candy floss. Wow! Wow! In the autumn. Beautiful. So yeah, the Japanese name is Kadzura. Right. K A D. Are they rare? They're an unusual tree, but they often do this. They, they might have multiple trunks. Right. So Sidophyllum japonicum. I'll write it out. For you. Yeah, well, and do column, column really. It's column is asking me all the. Who owns the house, so to speak? Who needs to know? Yeah, no, Palmer. He was good. One of the beekeepers, yeah, he was good. We did a big down here when it was at Sandra Field. Yes. Palmer's good. Palmer's good. Palmer's good. Palmer's good. And it's 30 dollars. Alright, yeah, yeah, yeah. It smells of candy floss. Yeah. It's amazing.